Okay, the rolling, I was going to say Integra, but Phantom Sequencer. So we're actually, uh, again, at the latest software version where they added the Supernatural Piano. Uh, by the way, the Supernatural Piano, uh, I prefer much more than the actual V Piano, believe it or not. So, But um, I'm still expecting more in the Sequencer. And uh, those of you that are subscribing or watching this let me in your own phantom owners let me know if you've got a workaround on this because this is so non-intuitive and frustrating and i don't see any of like the rolling diehard people on the forum really posting anything about this um uh, they're like almost like dealing with it and not um saying anything about it as if it's not a problem and so so i've got this section for example Okay. okay, and that's under section A right here. Now I got a separate section. And, and, and it's it's in the it's in the um different key center. Progression is just nothing more than C major to like a B eleven. Okay, just like that, that's it. And I want to record what would be a B section that will go along with this first section so here i am intuitively thinking you would just go click down on this empty cell and you wouldn't hear anything okay but what you're recording on this new section so here here's the attempt see it's wrong dumb Roland so what and I kind of tell you what I'm thinking here so this is meant to be a section now it plays by itself okay for some reason and then from this point on now that that cell on on the B column has been recorded I can go on say record a drum part which I'm going to do right now and I'm going to um have it just two bars Okay, and then so forth, and I can make my bass or whatever I want to do. Let's see, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so we'll just um. Pattern utility, the sky. Um, make it just two bars right here. Okay. Which this editor here is a nice addition. Uh, it's very nice. Okay. Of course, you can't change tracks when you're in the editing function, so I gotta go back. So I'll go another part. The mic stand, the camera stand happens to be right in the playing range where I'm trying to play, so. Excuse the choice of notes here. Okay, so now here's. So let's say I got a third section. So that would be like part A, part B, here's part C. And I want to do um, something, another key. Let me transpose this. Okay, now watch this. Why would. So, very dumb again, Roland. And I know people. Uh, 
on the Roland user group think I'm sort of negative, but how could you not uh, look at this and be uh, perplexed on it? Why it does that? Now, my theory is that this sequencer was more for the non-composing of linear music, like with actual structures, you know, like if you go back to the 80s and so forth. This is more for doing one uh, key center grooves that you audition different sections in real time, more of a performance thing. It's not really meant for making structures. So having said that, Roland uh, really should either revamp the sequencer uh, and make it kind of more like the Ableton Live or like the Logic, which I actually, that's a whole separate thing on Logic because the Logic Loop Composer really isn't designed for composing either. For recording and loops and so forth but they needed to add like a linear sequencer mode and somehow tie these both in because this sequence is not meant for writing traditional songs that actually have different sections uh, even though you have to but you you can but you have to re really endure this issue and so the struggle here for as a workstation is just not a lot to be desired for. Um, again, in back in October 2018, my opinion still stands on this keyboard, even though they added some supernatural, some bug fixes, is that this keyboard is a beta still, work in progress. And I know the Roland reps and they're, they're real positive about it. I mean, you can't fault them, they're working for the company, but they just, have to acknowledge that there's a lot to go on this on this keyboard as a workstation. So leave your uh, questions and any kind of comments on the comments. And uh, until then, until next time, we'll see you later.